Just uh, good to see you again. Uh, how do you feel? And if, if you could just kind of break down, when did you start feeling pain and how uh, tough has it been to have to sit out these past two, three weeks? Um, so I can't really give you an exact date, but we were doing um, a practice and I just felt some, some real tight pain in my stomach area the night before. But I got up the next morning ready to practice, and when I was out there practicing, as I would bend over and get in my linebacker stance, I would feel real tight, sharp pain. So ended up going to the doctor, getting um, CT scans, I believe, and all these type of tests, and they ended up taking my appendix out. But being back, it's been good. I've, um, I've had a great time being back on the field and just being around the guys. I definitely missed it. So just getting back active with them has been real, real fun. Ben? Uh, when, uh, when you weren't able to practice, have you been in, uh, at practice on the sidelines watching? And what have you kind of seen from your fellow linebackers when you're not out there? Um, they've been doing a real good job. I mean, it's next man up mentality, and they, they've definitely stepped up. And um, every, each one of them are all playing at a real good level right now. So I'm excited adding myself back in the mix to see what we can do as far as depth. And I'm excited. I, they've been doing a good job from what I can see on the sideline and being in the meeting room. Colin? Ernest, are you back full 100% at practice yet? Um, I would say, me personally, I feel 100, 100%, but my reps are still limited for the simple fact. I've been out a month. These guys have been in fall camp. I haven't hit anybody. I haven't really been able to do any football thing. So I don't want to, they didn't just want to push myself back into that role. So they're easing me back into it. I believe I'll get reps at the um, scrimmage to kind of go out there and see how I'm feeling and stuff like that. I'm sorry, to hit somebody. Oh man, I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> David? You mentioned that, that you meant you missed a lot of time. These other guys have been out there, but you were the team's leading tackler last year, played a lot of football. Do you think that you're ready, that once you are fully cleared, you could step back in there and it's an automatic question that you're going to be right back where you were and you're going to be starting again? Yeah, once I once they allow me to get back into my role, I don't feel like this appendix surgery has made me, um, made me any less of a player. I feel like I'm ready to go back and do what I did last year and more, do more than what I did last year. Hell. Since you've been mostly watching from the sidelines, what, what have you noticed from, from Coach Bobo's offense uh, these last couple weeks this year? Oh, yeah, Coach did. Bobo, they have a lot. They do a lot. So definitely with us, I've definitely seen, like, over time, I'm able to watch and able to kind of learn and see what Coach Bobo is doing. So to me, it's kind of getting, you know, the same thing, but to other people, it's going to be different. It's definitely a lot. He definitely tacks your eyes and, um, as, at the linebacker position and makes you really be sound. So he's definitely doing some good stuff back there on the offensive side. As you've just been mostly watching uh, up until, I guess, this week, is, is it obviously, it's obviously different not, than being on the field, but, but has it, you feel like it's kind of helped you when, when you're able to just sit back and watch and, and think and, and, kind of learn that way as opposed to being on the field learning? I definitely feel like it. I, I gained something out of just sitting out and watching. I feel like I see, see some things that I didn't see, but as a player just sitting back and watching, I feel like now I have an understanding of certain things. And like when I see certain things on the field or how I should have reacted. Um, so I believe that uh, staying out was, you know, a benefit in some ways. I would have rather been on the field, but I don't think it was wasted. I think I get, got better as a mentally and as a as a football player still. Dick Cox. You've had a chance to watch a lot uh, and sit take in everything. What are your overall thoughts of this year's defensive team? I think we're we're a real talented team. Um, it, it's, it always comes up to what, what, what we go out there and put on the, on the field because I feel like, and I've always felt this way, we've had a good team, but we don't do what we're supposed to do at times. And I feel like if we go out and do what we're supposed to do, is there's nothing that this defense can't do. There's no offense that this defense couldn't play with. So I'm excited. Mitch Brown. Hey, Ernest, how's it going? Um, for you, after a year of starting, is there anything that kind of sticks out to you personally 
that you came into this year to this season saying, I got to improve there, or maybe it's something in leadership off the field. Is there anything that kind of stuck out to you last year that you feel like you can do better going into this season to be more of a leader? Um, I think for this year, for this mindset, I, I've made it my goal to make sure that every day and that I bring out the best earnest, that I'm able to, you know, go out there and lead by example because I know at times if I don't go out there and I don't go out there to practice or go into the game with the right mindset, how can you expect the other 10 defensive players around you to, you know, want to follow their Mike linebacker? So me personally, just I've, I've developed the mindset within myself that I'm going to go out there and try to dominate each and every day. That's what I'm going to do, and then it's going to bring the other 10 football players around me around, and then it's going to bring the whole team to where we're dominating each and every day. Ben? What has uh, Sherrod Green been able to show you guys with him moving back to that weak side linebacker spot after spending uh, last year on the strong side? Versatility. He can do it. He can play all three linebacker positions. He's smart enough to play all three linebacker positions. And that's what you need in a in a guy like Sherrod because with the pandemic and things going on, you never know what will happen, which uh, one of us could catch the virus and he's ap he's having to go play these other positions. So you never know. But with him being able to do that and play all those three positions, it's just versatility. It's benefiting him and benefiting us as a defense as well. Jen Del Bianco. Hey, Ernest, what have you learned from Coach Wilson in the, in the short amount of time that you've been, been with him? And also, how much t time do you spend with Coach Muschamp one-on-one -on -one watching film since he's uh, kind of moved over to the linebacker room? We're, 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 we're with Coach um, Wilson a lot, and I've learned a lot from Coach Wilson. He definitely brings a NFL type of vibe to the meeting room and to practice alone. And I feel like I'm picking up on those type tendencies and stuff that he does like as far as what he brings back from the league so I'm definitely having a good time having him and coach Muschamp. Um, coach Muschamp is a very intelligent guy and I feel like I'm learning a lot from him at the linebacker position as well on how to see things so I believe that combination is just it's, it's benefiting the linebacker group tremendously I feel like we're learning from two guys that that you know know the position and or are gonna uh, like, uh, guide us in the right do right way. Have you seen Coach Wilson's ring yet? Has he showed it to the room? Oh yeah, it's nice. It's real nice and big. I can't wait to get one. David Conner. Ernest, uh, while you were out there, you know, kind of recuperating, who were some of the other young linebackers who caught your eye? You know, Mo Gilbert and um, Mo and Gilbert. Daryl was kind of out with me a little bit, and I didn't get to watch him. But Mo and Gilbert have definitely impressed me. They're playing really uh, real good football there. They do have their freshman tendencies and stuff like that, but we'll iron those out. But for the most part, they're, they're heading in the right direction. They will be able to help this team. Hale? How about the, the running backs, tight ends, guys that you would typically cross paths with on the field? What did you see from those guys when you were out? Can you repeat Just that one more time for me? The, the running backs and linebackers, what did you see from those guys when you were watching practice? Who were some of the standouts uh, at those spots? Um, from watching practice, I believe all of them did a pretty – all of them were doing a good job, and it's competition back there. All, each and every one of them are competing for a job. And I definitely feel like that's what we need. We need that competition. That's going to bring out the best in each and every one of them. So every position, I, tight end as well, they, they've been impressing me as well. So, I mean, I think we're all getting better. And it's competition, I believe, at each position. So that's pushing a lot of guys to, you know, go. And you need to bring your best or you not, or you won't be playing. So, Colin? I guess the biggest thing um, with Coach Bobo's offense so far has been kind of the motions that he does offensively. I guess as a linebacker, what are you looking for in those motions? And I guess how does – what he does change how a defense can react. Over the, the linebacker, the motion, we don't want to too much look at the motion because the motion is what's getting us, what's going to send us out of our own gap and stuff like that. So he, he uses those motions to kind of, you know, it's kind of like window dressing a lot of times, just showing, I mean, from the linebacker perspective, showing us something else and making us try to get our eyes out the right spot. As a linebacker, our eyes are one of the most important things, if not the most important. So. With those motions and stuff, he's definitely, you know, creating problems as far as us wanting to look at that motion and stuff like that. So, anything else for Ernst? All good. All right, appreciate it, Ernst. Yes, sir. Y'all have a good one.